Greetings, you Seitengassen vergers. I hope you're doing well. Uh, my name is Graham, and welcome to the Crack a Pack here on LRR MTG. Please consider subscribing to our channel. Today, as you may have inferred, we have a non English pack of magic cards. Specifically, it is a pack of Ather Rebellion, or German Ether Revolt, which was given to us by Ruby from Switzerland through the mail in, oh, very recently, actually, March 2022, and it came with a note. So I'll read it to you now. Dear LRR, thank you so much for the countless hours of entertainment and joy you are bringing into this world. Well, thank Jeez, that's very nice of you. Thank you. After stumbling across from Rewatch with Love of all things, I've started watching more and more of your magic content as well, and especially love crack a pack Well, hello. So as a token of appreciation, please find attached a gift of two packs, one German language pack of Ether Revolt, and an English language pack of Dominaria, which is in our drawer now. Uh, then in brackets, Canadian Customs said I had to include a note indicating that this is a gift. I don't think that's true. I think you just have to say it's a gift on the customs form. But, I mean, thank you. Uh, they continue, once again, thanks for all you do and looking forward to more LRR in my life. Cheers, Ruby. Well, thank you, Ruby. Very much appreciate it. Uh, and now you and everyone else gets to see Graham muddling along with German cards trying to remember if he can identify them by art alone. How long has it been since I played any Ether Revolt? Who oh boy. Great. First up. Oh boy. The Reisen. I think this is Ice Over, if I recall correctly. One and a blue for a creature enchantment aura. And it's, I want to say, a, a vehicle card can't untap during its controller's untap step? Artifact or creature, and it doesn't untap. But this card doesn't proactively tap it, correct? Okay, all right, cool. We're one for one, uh, which was nice, because now we're not anymore. Prize, prizeser, prizeser slag. Single red mana for a Spontans Albert, so it's an instant. Uh, creature gets plus one, plus oh, and uh, first strike until end of turn? Precise strike. I couldn't have, even in English, I would have been like, I feel like I've never seen this card before. So, uh, sure, yeah. Is it plus one, plus oh, and first strike? Huh. It's not precision strike, it's precise strike. That's tough to say out loud in English. Precise s strike. Hmm, all right. Alfseisiger Schrotzammler. Mmm. This is Defiant Salvager. I recognize this one. Two and a black for a 2 2 Aetherborn. Uh, Artificer? Is that what Handwerker means? So you can sacrifice, I want to say, a creature or artifact to give it plus one plus, to put a plus one plus one counter on it, but you can only do that at sorcery speed. And once per turn? No, just that. Just only at sorcery speed. You can do it as many times as you want at sorcery speed. Okay, cool. All right. Alf I, I don't know how you do the A with an umlaut o over it, but I do know how to say Schrotzammler, so that's fun. Hinterland Skyda. Skiada. This is a Hinterland Drake. Two and a blue for a 2-3 flying, and it can only block creatures with flying? Can't block, no. Yeah, can only block creatures with flying. Can't block artifact, Can't block artifact creatures. I knew it was something. Maybe I could have actually read the German and tried to work it out. Der Hinterland Skiada kann kein artifact or creature in blocken. Yeah, okay, I probably could have worked that out if I'd actually tried reading the German. But hey, I recognize the card, and I'm just as I'm, I'm proud of that. Let me have this. All right, next. Ch Chandra's Revolution. Chandra's Revolution. What could that mean in English? Chandra's Revolution, perhaps? There's no apostrophe, but otherwise, I think this is exactly the same name. It's three and a red for a sorcery, and it deals uh, four damage. And you can tap a land, and the land doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step? What a weird card. It's four damage to a creature, right? Yeah, yeah. Is the revolution that you're, like, tapping the land, is that the joke? You're revolving their land and going, no. It is. Anyway. Ah, yes. Genbladet vom Scheinwerferlicht. Uh, uh, caught in the headlights. 
or however you translate that. Anyway, it's two and a white for an aura, and the creature can't attack or block. It can neither angrief an odor blocken. And something about vehicles. The creature gets exiled if it's something to do with vehicles and you can exile the creature. And I'm I'm completely lost as to what what's what the last ability on this card is. James corrects me. It is caught in the brights, not caught in the headlights. So, my bad. Shine were furlicked. Anyway, next. This is Night Market Watcher. And I know that because the name here is Knocked Market Watcher. And it's the weird thing with three legs and two torsos. It's a three mana artifact creature construct. It's a three one. And it can block an additional creature because it's got two torsos. Right? Obviously. It is Night Market Watcher, isn't it? Night Market Guard? Night Market Guard. And yeah, you can block one additional creature. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, look, if I had two torsos, I assume I'd be able to block two creatures. I assume it would take more than two creatures at a time before they could work up the courage to come towards me if I had two torsos. It's just not something you see very often. Atherstrom Leopard. I want to say... Ether Leopard? Ether Storm Leopard? Is it just as simple as Ether Storm Leopard? It's two and a green for a 2 3 cat. It's got Trample Shodden. It, so ETB, you get an energy, and then whenever it attacks, you can spend one energy to give it plus two plus O oh until end of turn. Does it have Vigilance as well? It's got, it looks like it's got two keywords here, but there's no punctuation, so I'm not entirely clear. Okay, it was Ether Stream Leopard. But everything else I said was correct. So that's good. It only has trample. It looks like it has two things, but it's only trample. <laughs> Utensil der Verbrennung. Uh, implement of... Uh, what's the red one? <sighs> the black one is the implement of malice. The red one is the implement of... Pinging something for one. Uh, so it's one mana... And then for one red mana and sacrifice it, it deals one damage to something. And whether you do that or it leaves the battlefield in some other way, when it leaves the battlefield, you draw a card. I, I know what it does, but it's the, the implement of... Ferocity? No, that's not scary enough to be considered ferocious. Combustion, of course, because it's the red one. Also, it only deals one damage to target player. So it's not... Phenomenal, but I almost got there. Uh, ooh! Draufgangerischer Dragster. It's a three mana, four, four vehicle. Is this just Oval Chase Dragster? I think that was a different one. It's, it's like Runaway Dragster or something. This is the one. So I'm going to try, I'm going to read it before I am sure about this. It's Crew 2. And I want to say when it attacks or blocks, you put a, like a, I don't know, like a rattling apart counter on it. And then after there are two of two of those counters, then after combat, you sacrifice it and draw two cards. I think I'm missing some words in there, but I think I'm close. So they're the, they're the devil okay. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. It was okay. Ooh, um, Bella Gehrung's modification. Siege modification? I think I remember the Siege modification deck being, like, kind of a, like, low-key successful meme deck kind of late in the format. One red red for a creature or vehicle enchantment. And it gets plus three, plus O, oh, and something. First strike? Oh, if it's... If it's a vehicle, it just becomes a creature. Like, it just turns vehicles into creatures, or you can put it on a creature naturally, and then the creature or the vehicle that is now also a creature gets plus three, plus zero, oh, and first strike? Yeah! Woo! Siege modification. Feel good about that. That card's very silly, but I recall, like, hey, have you heard about, like, just picking up lots of siege modifications and going ham with it? Because... It's kind of funny. It's an uncommon, so you couldn't really, like, ever reliably do that, but... Anyway. Ooh, Admiral Dr. Aeronauten! Um, Aeronaut... Admiral? Admiral Aeronaut? 
it's something like that. It's a uh, 3-1 with flying. No, it doesn't have flying, but it gives all the vehicles flying. And it has a different thing. It's three and a white for a three one with something, and it gives all your vehicles flying. No, you're right. it does have flying. Oh, it does have flying. And it's Aeronaut, Admiral. Aeronaut Admiral. It has flying. It's it has Fleegend, but it gives your vehicles Flugfahigkeit. Kite. Flugfahigkeit. So different flying. Flying for cars, I guess. I've got a Sumpf. Love to have Sumpf. Uh, our rare is by Freyren de Grunvertels. This is not. This is not gonna work. One in a green for a 2 1 elf uh, with rebellion. So if something you controlled left the battlefield this turn, then it's gonna do something else. I think it's uh, something about plus one, plus one counters on other creatures that enter the battlefield under your control. Man, I don't know. I could not, for the life of me, tell you this one. Green Wheel Liberator. Oh, it is, sorry. It says Rebellion, and I was like, I, I knew what that ability was, but I forgot, of course, that the set is called Aether Rebellion, not Aether Revolt. And I just transposed Revolt and Rebellion perfectly in my head. It's not called Rebellion in English, it's called Revolt. What does it do? Okay, so if you've triggered Revolt, it enters with two plus one plus one counters. So it's a four, three for two. That's not very exciting as a rare. That's not, that's not tremendous. Ho! Oh! You know what is exciting and is in English? I didn't know this could happen. We, we got a masterpiece. We got we got a gremlin, which is I mean yeah, same right, but no we got we got a chalice of the void, that's amazing, holy moly in English because I guess they didn't print them and they didn't localize the masterpieces I guess so yeah chalice of the void X X artifact enters the battlefield with X charge counters on it, whenever a player casts a spell would convert a mana cost equal to the number of charge counters on chalice of the void, counter that spell. Cool. <laughs> well, that was that was wholly unexpected. What are the odds of that? So, so in a draft, I would be taking Chalice of the Void because don't judge me. So would you? Turns out it's worth like three hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> um, I guess if I was. If there was not a Chalice of the Void here, I would probably be looking at, like, the Aeronaut or the Caught in the Brights. Maybe the Leopard? But no, I'm going to take the Chalice of the Void. I've never opened an Amonkhet uh, masterpiece, and I've never opened one of the uh, one of the Kaladesh ones, or the Invocations. I've never opened an Amonkhet Invocation or a Kaladesh uh, masterpiece. That's amazing. Wow. Well, uh, I, that's somewhat um, messed with the uh, the the value of the pack, as you can see. Um, but that's fine. That also makes it the most expensive single card we've ever opened on Crack a Pack by some margin as well. So, hey, thanks, Ruby. <laughs> wow. All right. Um, if you want to send us packs, though I kind of feel like people are going to not want to now, uh, you can do so to the address on your screen. And then, of course, a reminder that this show and everything we do is brought to you by you and your kind support of our Patreon at patreon.com slash loading ready run. That's amazing. I've been Graham. James has been running tech. Uh, thanks for all your help on identifying these cards properly. Matt edits these. Heather gets them online. And you have all joined us to watch. And that's uh, arguably the most important part. So thank you. See you next time. Bye, everybody.